Overay True, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Overay Hills. Guys, I have some tropical tea for you. But before we get into this mess, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. Do it right now. It really helps me a lot. We are on the race to 15K. So if you are new here and you want to join the Verve Troop, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And let's talk about this mess right there on the Caribbean because last night was the season finale of Below Deck. And I had so many emotions. Look, I'm a huge fan of Below Deck and it was very sad to like see them react to everything that was going on you know I mean of course coronavirus just hit at that point so it was like I, I remember watching this show and being like shit this is how re we really felt you know at that time you know you're like one day you were like oh this is not a big deal you know okay oh that's over there in china wherever and then oh now it's there now it's there now it's here now it's this now the it close 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 i mean it was insane right like those first i will say six months it was insane so relieving that i was like whoa and it was sad it was sad that it had to um uh, end this way um Watching Captain Lee giving the three stripes, I think that's what it's called, to Eddie, OMG, like, I cry, like, it was so emotional, I was like, please bring him back, look, next season, I only want, of course, Captain Lee, Eddie, Rachel needs to be back, like, I love her, honestly, and you know what, Francesca, baby, mm, bye. I mean, let's bring Kate back, okay? It just, it, it needs to happen. Bravo, just give her money and bring her back. We need her, okay? We need her. And yeah, the rest, I mean, whatever. I don't care about the rest of the people. <laughs> um, now, about that, uh, the, the little tea, you know. Um, so, uh, Captain Lee went on Twitter and he basically said, I will never work again with Elizabeth, you know? And I'm so sorry, but Elizabeth, girl, stop acting like you were so surprised that you were fired. You were not good at this job, okay? You are not a good, whatever, it's a st a steward, steward, whatever the name is, you are not that I mean, customer service is not your thing. I'm so sorry, okay? Now, I'm not saying that Francesca was like this super boss. No, Francesca needed to go too because she is not, I don't know, maybe she maybe it was she got nervous for the show. I don't know, but it wasn't a good season on her because she wasn't open to teach anyone, you know? So she is the kind of boss who will only uh, hire people with a lot of experience because she doesn't have... The, the the patience to teach people new stuff, you know? So that's why when um, this other girl, Ashley, is Ashley, I, I remember the name, um, came, of course she will love her because the other one, she already know what she wanted to do, what she needed to do, I'm sorry. So she will go there, she will go there, she will take initiative, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? Not everyone is like that. And girl, you are on a reality show, okay? So of course they're not going to bring you super experts because we need the drama of the greens who doesn't know how to do shit, okay? So now instead of you going out of your way to teach her, you went on, uh, on to like going very hard on her. Ugh, I'm just so in the middle. Without that being said, I also think that Elizabeth did, didn't do a good job. I'm so sorry, but she crying like she tried so hard and she was so, you know, good and, and, and she didn't have any idea. BS, okay? You hated that job. It will show on everything you do. You didn't want to do anything. This was not a job for you. And you thought that you were going on a reality show who will took you to a yacht on the Caribbean and you will have the vacations of your time. So when you saw that you were gonna have to clean bedrooms, do laundry, you know, serve people, you were like, oh, WTF, you know? So she being all, we have to let you go. What? Why? Why? Bitch, come on. We all know. 
And now, not only that, she took it to Twitter. Oh my God, are you trying to close all your doors on reality TV? She just goes and goes on on Captain Lee. And she respond because Captain Lee said, I will, I, I am not going to work with her ever again. And she goes on and says, I just want to say that Captain Lee, he's miserable and judgmental. I wouldn't want to work with him either. He allowed Francesca to be a terrible chief too. He was never present. And then when, and, and he was never present and then watched the edited, the edit show to form his final opinion because he wasn't involved on his own boat. Bitch, you better take it like a thousand notches down and you will not speak like that to Captain Lee, okay? Respect, the only thing that I have to say. She is just an entitled bee who thinks that, you know, she, she was amazing and she was this shit. Tell me if I'm lying, guys, but she had the same face and the same attitude as Kristen Doty from Vanderpump Rules. It it was like watching her twin right there. Even physically, they kind of like resemble a little bit. And same thing, they have a problem with authority because they just want to do whatever the fuck they want to do. And it doesn't work like that. <sighs> Anyways, girl, you're not going to be back. So we still have the reunion. Um, uh, I don't think it's going to be nice. But anyways, at the end of the day, I'm happy with the season. I am uh, you know, love Captain Lee. I am in love with Rachel. Like, I didn't thought she's cuckoo sometimes, but you know, on a good way. And I think a lot of chefs are like that. And you can see that she is so talented. Like, she is a fucking good chef. So I, we need her back because she's also bringing the drama. So she is a good reality TV person to have. Um, we need Kate back. We need Eddie back. Um, you know what? Actually, the guys... Well, Rob was just being a little bitch. So he is so hot. And I don't know why I had that this feeling that Rob might be gay. And maybe he was doing stuff with the other guy on the side. You know, like, they call, like, oh, we have this bromance, you know, and we are just bros, bros, bros. But you know what? Bros sometimes say, like, okay, let's, let's do this. No homo, whatever. Uh, I, don't, I just, I, I had that feeling from the two of them. And uh, what is the name of the other girl? It's not Liz. Lizzie? I don't remember. Um, I like her. You know, I mean, she was on the deck crew. She was nice. If she's back, I will be fine with it but i don't think she will be back actually she came out of the closet guys i don't know if you knew this but she came out of the closet um so i'm i'm very happy with this season but we definitely need some changes for next season i will be we haven't had a male steward and i would love to have some gay action on that boat you know what i mean maybe bring three gay guys next season and I will have three gay guys, two stray guys, and, you know, a couple, like, three girls. That's eight people right there. Maybe some bisexuals, you know, so we can have, like, action between everyone. That will be amazing. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Did you enjoy this season? What did you think about Elizabeth going, like, against Captain Lee? And don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys, and I'll see you around. See ya!